using community, and there are so many ways that communities are defined. Um, in the tangible world, maybe a group of people living in the same locality. It might be a distinct segment of society, like a microculture, um, a similarity or identity. There are places where relationship is the key, and that's what's important. Maybe not the media, because a community can transcend media. And as we've experienced over the six years in Second Life, there's certainly a blurring with the, I even hate to call it the real world, maybe the tangible world. Forces that draw people and or attention away from anything as abstract as written discussions in cyberspace are strong, and actions must be taken to glue people together. Um, distance learning initiatives to avail students of immersive learning opportunities and to look for those intersections that happen in a cross-disciplinary environment. I keep thinking of the Medici effect by um, Franz Johansson. He wrote that a number of years ago and it's all about coming in contact with people and disciplines that are not your discipline, they're folks that don't think just like you and uh, that at the point of intersection is where creativity totally, totally can happen. And this is our library, and we have had several student interns working on various projects over the years here, um, designing books, um, developing this place in the case of Moonbeam. So last March, about this time, we had our very first cross-disciplinary conference and uh, we looked at libraries in Tudor Britain, we looked at um, ways that um, literature was being taught here and we had over 96 people attending, it was a two-day event and uh, we don't have one planned yet for this year. Uh, but never say never. <laughs> One thing that we are going to have is a student internship here for, um, for music, and it's going to be called the Tom Dowd um, Chair. And so hopefully the halls will be filled once again soon with music. One of the most fun talks we had here was right here in the tilt yard. And uh, the person who did all of the choreography for the horses in the movie The Patriot um, did a presentation on, um, on 15th and 16th century cavalry. And it was very fascinating. To me, this is one of the most exciting ways and immersive ways to learn.